We're very fortunate. We have a very good leadership group right now with uh, Renee, Nort, um, Jordan, and Ashley. Well, preseason's always good because, you know, we're the only ones here and there's nothing else going on campus, so it gives us time to bond on and off the field. We're all coming together as one. We've been together since the week and a half now. We have two a days and it's um, a lot of intense workouts and things like that. Um, so we've really been pushing each other each practice to prepare for the first game this upcoming weekend so that when we do get in the game, we're ready to play. Everyone's excited just because it's going to be the first game against Old Dominion. It starts our season and it like it actually starts our journey to a great season. To go down and play two quality sides like Old Dominion and JMU this weekend uh, and then come right back the following weekend with a national runner-up in Penn State. You know, this is one of the most competitive schedules I've ever been part of. Uh, but our, I think our team is ready and, and we're ready to make you know, LaSalle proud and get to that next level. We obviously want to have a great regular season and non-conference season, but we want to try to do as well as we did last year with reaching the A-10 finals and um, getting to the NCAA tournament. How far can we get in the NCAA tournament? Especially after the most recent success of our basketball team. You know, I, I, I really appreciate those guys doing that because you know, we raised the bar a little bit last fall and, and they took it to another level. We're going to try to go farther than last year, hopefully, but we just want to shoot for the NCAA game and try to maybe beat basketball with the Sweet 16. Both keepers right now that are fighting for a starting position uh, to the you know, Defender of the Year and Courtney Nemec. Uh, Kerry Aiken's been doing a tremendous job after last spring. Uh, you know, Ashley Chilcote is probably the best outside back in the conference right now. Um, and then obviously returning uh, probably the best holding midfielder in the country in my mind, Jordan McVicker. But I'll tell you, a lot of kids that you know we weren't expecting uh, you know an opportunity to start have really made a case for themselves. You know, we have a, a couple freshmen really competing for an opportunity to be an impact player, and, that, and that's very difficult for a team with this much depth. Um, you know, we pretty much have two teams I think that compete in the A10 right now, and, and that's something to be said.